gives you a uh, wind turbine. A wind turbine, or alternatively referred to as wind energy converter, is a device to convert wind's kinetic energy to electrical energy. Therefore, wind energy has become one of the most economical renewable energy technology. It is really convenient at all costs. Furthermore, many, many developing countries have substantial exploited with the wind, wind patch potential. In many locations, electricity had been generated by wind turbine, especially in Europe, such as Netherlands. Besides, in Madagascar, small turbine has been sold by European project developers and installers in 2008, in 2008, which were installed in different locations in the island. It shown that third world countries also have an approach to have, to have advantage of wind energy. So we move to the electricity generating for wind turbine. So basically, wind turbine can generate AC and DC electricity. It depends on the type of generator, either in AC or DC. But most common machines nowadays is AC machine because it is more efficient. Not to forget, in all time, there are a DC machine which use permanent magnet alternator or PMA. Let's continue to look on how wind turbines work by looking at the function of each component. If we open the wind turbine, we will see uh, we will see the components in the wind turbine. So there is a rotor, rotor, there is a blade, there is a brick, your drive, tower, your motor, high speed shaft, nasir, generator, controller, anemometer, gearbox, and low speed shaft. Okay, let's see what is the function of the rotor. Okay, if you can see it here, the rotor is connected to the main shaft of the wind turbine. Uh, so when the wind, uh, when the wind coming, it will spin the generator to create or to produce electricity. And here there is blades, one blades, two blades. So the function of the blades is uh, it will lift and rotate when wind uh, is blown over the dam, uh, over them. So this wind direction. So uh, what's happen if they rotate and rotate? Uh, it will cause the rotor to spin. Uh, that's how the rotor spin and then generate and then go to generator and generate electricity. Next, low speed shaft. Okay. As it's low speed shaft, it means that it returns the low speed at about 30 to 60 RPM. So we look at the gearbox. Gearbox here is a gearbox. So if you can see here, gearbox, gearbox is actually is to, con to connect the low, the low speed shaft with the high speed shaft uh, and increase the rotational speed from uh, and increase the rotational speed from about 30 to 60 rpm to 1000 until 1800 rpm. Why? This because uh, this is the rotational speed that uh, required by the most uh, generators to produce electricity. And the controller will stop. We start up the machine at one speed at about 8 to 16 miles per hour and shut off the machine about 55 mph. The function of the pitch system at the blades. So actually, the pitch system is to turn the blades out of the wind to control the rotor speed and to keep the rotor from turning in winds that are too high or too low to produce electricity. Next, we will go to brake. Brake will stop the rotor mechanically Electrically or hydraulically in emergency. Then there's uh, your drive uh, here. So the function of your drive is to orient up one, uh, up one turbine to keep them facing the directions of one change. Taller towers enable turbines to capture more energy and generate more electricity. Last but not least is the nasir. Nasir is actually the body of the one turbine that contains the gearbox, a generator, controller, high speed shafts, low speed shafts, and brake. Uh, that's all that you need to know uh, about how the wind turbine work but if we open uh, the wind turbine we can we can see uh, these are the elements uh, the make, that makes the wind turbine so it has it have rotor it has low speed shaft it have brake blades uh, your drive tower your motor high speed shaft nasil generator controller anim anemometer gearbox now let's have a look to the benefit of wind turbine wind turbine is the one fastest growing source of the new electricity generation today this cost trend can give many advantages and benefits not only to the not only to the country but also globally as well first is green power the electricity produced from wind power is said to be clean because its generation produces no pollution and greenhouse gases 
Second is sustainable. Green power is a renewable energy resource. It is inexhaustible and requires no fuel because the wind blows across the earth. Third is wide range of capacity. The wind power system can range in size from very small of power plants or the utility scale. Five is economic development. The wind turbine development project uh, green a uh, short term and long term uh, green job. For example, uh, the wind turbine industry in India provide employment to more than 48,000 people. Uh, wind turbine, which have this wonderful benefit, also have the limitation. Uh, let's call them the challenges. First is cost. There is a high initial cost to the wind turbine based on the utility scale wind farm and small residential wind turbine that typically rely heavily on financial incentives. Next is wildlife. It can give a dangerous to the flying animals such as uh, birds and bats uh, by flying to the water. It also tends to make a noise which is unpleasant. Fight is safety at sea. In the darkness, it may be difficult for incoming boats to see the wind does leading to collision. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the creation of the heaven and earth and in the variation of night and days a sign for the processor of intellect Al-Quran Surah Al-Imran verse 190 This reminds us that everything that Allah has created and in this world all have their own function and benefits It is just us as human need to think such and make use it wisely to have a good life between living things and non-living things. This shows that there are some of the energy that can be renewable. For example, the world is creating all of the technology nowadays by using electricity instead of using fossil fuels. By the way, removing technologies of electricity is important and for industrial revolution because the regulatory has to part. So, the same goes to the wine. We will use the wine by using the technology that had been created before, which is wine turbine technology to generate electricity and replace the fossil fuel which harm to us and the world. 